Hi everyone, Leanne here. I hope you're doing well. Today I am showcasing one of my favorite inks. This is Pilot Iroshizuku Inaho. And I wanted to see what inks in my collection, bottled inks and ink samples included, looked most like Inaho. So I have a selection of seven inks to swatch today. As I'm going over my supplies, I have my eyedropper, um, and that has been a trusty companion. This beautiful Kakimori glass nib that I got from a generous viewer, so thank you very much. I also have the accompanying cherry wood holder, also made by Kakimori. And then I have my stainless steel condiment cup um, that I've used in all of my ink swatch videos. And then I also swatch all of my inks in this Hobonichi A5 plain notebook. And it even shows you that my first currently inked back in May of last year featured Inaho. Um, it's this beautiful ink that's not necessarily green, not necessarily blue, or not blue, I mean brown, and not necessarily that golden yellow. And I compared it with my olive greens and you can see that it's more brown than the others. So what first got me acquainted with Ina Ho was watching one of Abby C's videos. She was going through her fountain pen ink collection and she had a lot of greens and oranges, a lot of like fall autumn colors, which are the same colors that I really like. And she talked about this color or this particular ink and right away I fell in love. It's this rich earthy color that's like I'd mentioned before, it's not quite brown. It's a little too green to be considered a brown color and it's got this beautiful blend of um, green and like this golden color as well. And what I also love about it is that it shades beautifully. So this first ink that I'm comparing it to is Birmingham Pen Company's Barley. I decided that I would swatch it um, just because of the name. Um, I thought that there might be some sort of similarity between rice ear and barley, but as you can see, as I've swatched it, it definitely doesn't lean green at all. It leans on the other side of the color spectrum where it leans more orange. Um, but still, I'm glad that I swatched it. And now I know that these two are not related at all, um, only by name. Um, but what I do love about this ink and actually all the inks that follow is that they all shade beautifully. I also wanted to mention that I got this ink courtesy of the Birmingham Pen Company. Thank you so much, Nick and Josh. The next ink is Ferris Wheel Presses Goose Poupon. This is an ink sample that I got from Lorelei by handmade by Lorelei and um, especially compared to Birmingham Barley this ink it really is a close dupe for Inaho but as you can tell on screen it leans a little bit more green um, in comparison to Inaho. This ink is a beautiful shader uh, there isn't any sheen there's no shimmer and I have been able to get to know Ferris Wheel Press's inks a little bit more, particularly because Lorelei sent me a few sampling of their non-shimmering, non-sheening inks, and I have to say that I'm in love. This next ink is Sailor Ink Studio 280, and this happens to be one of the first ink samples that I purchased. Interestingly, I haven't even swatched this, or I haven't inked it up in a pen yet, so I think I, I shall give it a try for next month's currently inked. My initial impression is that the ink, the circular ink swatch gives off like a muddy green look, but what's really beautiful about this particular ink is that as it dries, it gives off this beautiful chroma shading, um, just this chroma shading display where you see some like dusty pinky browns, um, some even some greens and some black as well. I have another ink here from Lorelei and this is Platinum Citrus Black. What's really cool about this ink is just its transformation from when it's dry to, or from when it's wet to dry. And it starts out with this bright citrusy yellow color. And as the ink begins to dry, it starts to take on a darker and darker tone. Um, hence the name citrus black. So it starts out citrusy and it starts to darken um, as the ink dries and it gets even darker even when it is dry. Another distinguishing feature is that this ink is an iron gall ink and all I know about that is that it makes this ink in particular pretty permanent um, as opposed to all the other inks that are featured today that are not water resistant, um, are not permanent inks. 
And for those of you who know more about Iron Gall inks, please let us know in the comment section below. Kobe Shinkaichi Gold is just this luxurious ink color. Um, right off the bat, it gives off this like velvety rich golden color um, and I would say it's very much a close dupe for Inaho. Um, I bought this ink bottle or this bottled ink kind of as an impulse buy. Uh, I knew I wanted to get a Kobe ink but I wasn't sure what uh, which one to get but I did see a swatch of this particular ink and because I love these sorts of earthy green gold colors I just promptly bought a bottle and I am really excited to ink it up. For those of you that love shimmer inks and also happen to enjoy Inaho or like colors like Inaho, then I really encourage you to check out Ferris Wheel Press's Queen and Castle. I would say just off the page or watching the screen, it looks a lot like Kobe Shinkaichi Gold. What makes this different is that it has a beautiful rose gold shimmer to it. Um, and I would say it has like the same sort of like golden undertones and it has the same sort of richness in the color. And um, another thing that makes this different from the other inks is that this is the only shimmering ink. Absolutely gorgeous. Now we have Robert Oster African Gold. This happens to be one of the first ink samples that I bought early on in my fountain pen journey. And it's just a really pretty color. Comparing it to all the other inks here, it does not really have any indication of green. It definitely has the gold in there. Um, I would even say it's like a mustard yellow, uh, and I really enjoy this ink. There's no shimmer. There's just a slight bit of sheen, less sheen than Shinkaichi Gold. And in the areas where it pools, um, it dries to this beautiful like dark brown black color really really pretty as I'm adding these dot swatches I also wanted to mention that I think two inks that would have been a wonderful addition to these pages would have been Colorverse glue on and Taranishi emotional olive um, but really looking at the spread here I love how these ink samples turned out I would say the two closest inks would be Ferris wheel press goose poupon and Kobe Shinkaichi gold for those of you that love the shimmer, then I think Queen and Castle would be a lovely addition. But let me know your thoughts. What other inks that I didn't even have presented here have you tried that look a lot like Inaho? Let me know in the comment section. And thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye.